Everyone wants to sell their house for top dollar, but you don't do it by pricing your house too high, even in a seller's market. You do it by marketing and positioning your house for sale correctly. Hi, I'm Julia Monahan, and I'm here today to explain to you the importance of market time and positioning when you're selling your home for top dollar. So what is positioning? That's a great question. Think about it this way. When you go to the store to buy something off the rack or the shelf, you take into consideration its packaging, its pricing, and any current offers or sales, right? Well, it's no different in real estate. People who are shopping for a home do exactly the same thing, whether it's on on their own or with an agent. The key is emotionally connecting your home to the ideal buyer while simultaneously creating urgency around it. And that's why staging is important, but that's a whole nother video. The most important part of marketing and selling your home is that price tag that's the first thing that buyers are going to see. That's what price positioning is. Pricing is very strategic and a huge part of the marketing plan. Pricing your home too high can lead to additional time on the market, which could also lead to low ball offers. When a new home gets listed on the market, it will get a lot of interest. Your best chance at selling it is going to be within those first two weeks because most buyers don't want to miss out. The longer your home sits on the market, buyers will begin to assume that they have more room for negotiation. Typically after about 30 days on the market, buyers may start to perceive that something is wrong with the home and they'll try to negotiate on price. This is why pricing your home too high in the beginning can hurt you in the long run. Another thing you need to know about pricing is how buyers are searching for homes online. Price point is the number one criteria of how buyers are searching online. And they tend to be grouped in increments of twenty-five dollars to $50,000. For example, people will search for homes up to $500,000, $525,000, $550,000, and so on. And you want to take this into consideration when coming up with that initial listing price. Is it worth listing the home at $604,000 or $599,000? Probably the latter, because there'll be more buyers searching up to that $600,000 price point, which will bring more attention. So now that we understand pricing a little better, the next way that we position your home is in the description. We want your home to appeal to the most ideal buyer. The words used to market a property are essential. It's important that that description speaks directly to the ideal buyer. I personally put a lot of thought into writing a property description and I work with the sellers to make sure that it holds true to them as well. For example, if you're selling an investment property, those remarks should be more focused on the numbers because that's what matters to an investor. Versus if you're selling a single family home, those remarks should be more focused on maybe school districts districts, aesthetics, local parks, and amenities. Those buyers are typically going to be a little more focused on lifestyle. Again, you want to speak directly to your ideal buyer. The third way to position your house for sale properly is in its marketing. You want to advertise your home in places where the ideal buyer is searching. A good agent is going to chase the ideal buyer versus just throwing a sign in the yard and listing it on the MLS. With websites and social media, you can advertise directly to the most interested buyers for your home, even in a seller's market. I really hope that this video has shown you the importance of positioning your home for sale. As you can see, marketing plays a huge role in getting top dollar for your home if that's what your goal is, and it should be. If you're interested in learning more information, I am happy to answer any questions that you may have. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on the Portland metro area and real estate, or you can check out my website at juliamonahan.com. I'm Julia Monahan with eXp Realty. Thanks for watching.